apprehension, of course, as to whether they be the accurate on, on this one coming back, but it's uh, just absolutely perfect. Now you can see the uh, the helicopter uh, teams moving in there now, circling around at just about cloud level as Apollo 13 glides softly down into the Pacific. A little venting of the uh, fuel down up through the uh, Iwo Jima. Uh, That's the uh, uh, last bit of the uh, attitude fuel being vented. Just, well, he's telling us as well. <laughs> <laughs> the smoke you see is uh, the video of RCS uh, propellants, uh, reaction control system propellants. I think that's from the helicopter. That other picture was. Just one more minute to splash down, according to the... There's a helicopter picture. That's interesting. Yeah, look at that. Uh, you heard the uh, conversation between uh, the recovery helicopter and uh, the crew of Apollo 13. Oh, that's great. Look at that. Isn't that exciting? That's truly an Oh. The floor of the mission operations control room uh, now crowded. Uh, and uh, there are visible smiles on There are going to be some big fat cigars right there in mission control. <laughs> A uh, report from the Iwo Jima that uh, Apollo 13 is descending uh, at a point four miles due south of the ship. Apollo 13 and recovery passing to 1,000 feet. About 15 seconds away from landing. Oh boy. That's casual. Apollo 13 and recovery passing through 1,000 feet. <laughs> yeah. That's what you call formation flying, isn't it? <laughs> of course, that's just not what it is. There's a slight angle now. You can see that that's to make the entry into the water easier while it's coming up. <laughs> Sable one and riding comfortable means that they're riding right side up. They didn't uh, flop over in the water. At least they got that break on that whole flight. <laughs> This is from the other helicopter, uh, uh, I believe, unless that's a very long lens from the uh, from the carrier deck. It may be a long lens. I think it, it is. That's why we're getting the, uh, that. Uh, 
splashed in stable one. Uh, that's uh, with the apex cover up out of the water. The vertical axis are approximately 15 degrees. Odyssey, the end of the Odyssey. Yeah, what are we? The is maneuvering to uh, grapple the raised chute. The two other chutes are still visible in the water. See how charred that spacecraft is. Great picture from that helicopter. Huh? That's outstanding. Never anything like that. No. Much better than the training exercise, doesn't it? We'll perform the pickup of the crew. Recovery beacon antenna. Top of the command module. If you check that flashing light, of course, that's automatic after it lands. That shows up for a night landing and helps very much, of course, to. Acquired at least visually. One, the Mylar covering on the exterior of the command module has been removed in the area opposite the two access hats. See the divers go underwater in a moment. They just told us. This is for one cloud conditions in the recovery area are approximately six tenths. Cloud cover combination uh, high serious and low trader. You can see well that's not a very good boat. It's <laughs> <laughs> a lot of action. So very little wave motion. Yes.